Hi, Miguel here from Turn Performance. You have seen some of the updates that we've shared from Laura's um, fitness journey with us and how amazing she's been doing. Well, yesterday, in only three and a half months, she passed the 55-0 pound mark. In three and a half months, she's lost 50 pounds, which is amazing. What is even more incredible is that this is changing her internally. And we wanted to share some of that with you and we wanted you to hear it from Laura. Laura's journey began with a weight loss retreat. She went away and she was basically um, in a very controlled environment for four weeks. She had uh, tw two workouts per day. Um, she, the, the, the food that she ate was uh, controlled and supervised. Um, I think they left during those four weeks. They were allowed to go out for maybe, uh, I believe, two days out of the whole four weeks. And, and those days were supervised, even, you know, what you ate. Um, so she did amazing. She lost uh, 20 pounds in, in four weeks. And then when she was still there, she contacted me and she wanted to set up to, she wanted to make sure that she had something ready to go, something set up for her to continue this journey as soon as she got back. So that was, she did that from July 15th until August, um, middle of August, which is when she started with me. And she's, she's, she keeps transforming. You can see it. You can hear it when you talk to her. And that's what we want to share with you. We want you to hear it from Laura herself. Okay. So you've lost 50 pounds yep. in three and a half months. So did you think when you started three and a half months ago, did you think that in such a short amount of time, you would lose that much weight. No, absolutely not. I would have been really happy if I lost 20 pounds and just kept that off. Yeah. It's been the most incredible thing I've ever done. So when you, so when you started at, at, at the very beginning, you knew you had to change something. Yeah. What brought you to that point? Um, I just was doing things to make myself feel better. Um, I wanted my my outer body to match how good I felt on the inside and I was just doing just crazy silly things that just tried to make me feel as good as I did inside but I wanted the outside to match the inside. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. So I knew health-wise I needed to change. Yeah. And so you go away, um, you, you work really hard for a month in a, in a very controlled environment and then when you came out, when you come out of that, did you, was there any, any fear of potentially losing that momentum or have you already gotten enough going on that you felt you, you had? It was, I had a lot of fear because when I was in a controlled environment, you left that environment twice in four weeks and you were supervised. Yeah. It was a pleasant supervision, it was like for adults, but I just thought as soon as I got to the airport when I flew home, I thought, should I go to Starbucks or get an oat bar? Or yeah. what, you know, am I going to get some candy? What am I going to do? But I made sure I packed my lunch. And before I left, I met, well, I knew Terry from here for a long time. And Terry suggested that I come and see you. And after two weeks, I thought, well, I guess I am worthy of a personal trainer. And I thought, well, if I arranged that before I left, and I had it done for like the first Tuesday, I was home, so like four days after it, I knew I was going to be okay. So what made you, because you say, I guess I am worthy of a personal trainer. And I remember in our first workout, you said, I pushed you really hard. And I remember you saying at the end that when I gave you props for it, you said, I knew that I had to push really hard to show you that I was worthy of this. Yeah. So what, tell me about that. Well, I always thought the trainers wanted to work with young athletic athletes that wanted to move to the next level or that were already fit and beautiful. I never thought anybody would want to work with somebody who was, 
you know, 50 years of age or 25 years of age, whatever it is, that is not fit, that is not the perfect body shape, and that is really, really overweight, and to have the confidence to go and ask somebody to, hey, can you do something physical, athletic, and help me out? And I just didn't think that anybody would want to do that. I thought you just want to work with young, beautiful people. <laughs> and it was like the biggest shock of my life to find people like you and, and where I went to. Um, it was the best thing ever. Yeah. And now I sort of get it, but I didn't get it before. Yeah. Because that first day when you said that, I stopped you right there. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, you are worthy. Period. Not because of how well you did during this workout, but you deserve a healthy, happy, strong body. Period. Yeah. Right? Like it's not dependent on what you do. Obviously, it is your actions that will eventually get you there. Um, okay, so now, so it is that, because something that I always make sure of is that there, there is much more positive reinforcement than, yeah. than other ones, right? And with you, honestly, it has been very easy. You, you are, literally, you're the, the, the description of a perfect client. Because, and I'm not, I'm not joking, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because you follow my instructions. You know, when I ask you, okay, I need you to eat. 150 calories more, you do it. Whereas it's it's easy, and I understand why, but it's, it's easy to say, no, if I eat more, I'm gonna gain weight. I should actually eat less, you know? Based on all the crap that we hear online or whatever, and you, you just trust me, and you just do it. And when I, when I give you your homework to go and do it, you stay accountable. You know, so that's why you see those numbers every every week. Like it's crazy, and we're upping your calories again because now you've. It's only been three and a half months, and you've lost fifty pounds. Well, you listen to the people that know what they're talking about. So when people come in and see me, you do what I ask you, you get results. You get good people around you. You ask them for help. You need it. You listen to them. If you don't listen to what your help is telling you to do, why use them? Yeah. You know, if you tell me to do something, that's, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I, something that I've enjoyed a lot with you is your attitude. We've gotten, on, we've gotten it on video a couple times, but just how I can, I can tell you, okay, we're sprinting up that hill. That's great. You may be thinking, <laughs> Fuck that, but you, you know, when you smile and you do it, and, and that, that attitude is what's going to carry you through and what's transforming your life. It's not the workout, because you could see me twice a week, plus your homework, and not get anywhere if your attitude is not in mind. So, you were saying earlier, it's amazing what happens when you, when your body is when you work with your body, when you're, you're making your friend. Yeah, well it is your best friend. And if you treat it like crap like you have for 49 years, it's gonna not perform for you. But when you start to treat it nicely and support it and ask it to do healthy things, it, it does something for you. Yeah. How, how do you feel when you look at yourself in the mirror or? Well, you walk by like a store window and you got who is this person? <laughs> Wow! I didn't know that I could, I'm gonna add that to my. Do you want to be taller? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so I'm really excited for the rest of your journey and what's gonna keep happening. Um, what would you tell Laura from four months ago when she was about to head up there? You can do it. You can have fun doing it, and you will relearn who you are. And that person will come up even more. <laughs> Good job, my friend. I'm so proud of you.